Audi TT Mark 1 cleaning the hockey puck. Hi all, Andy here and welcome back to the channel where tonight I'm back with the 225 and I'm cleaning the hockey puck. I feel the 225 has been losing some boost recently because when I put my foot down, it makes the right sounds, but I don't feel it's accelerating quite as it should. So I am going to check all of the PCV pipe work for any leaks or cracks. PCV stands for positive crankcase ventilation. But the part I'm most interested in tonight is the hockey puck. I mean, we all know what a hockey puck is, right? That is a hockey puck. So I think we can agree that the hockey puck on the 225 is not the small black rubber disc that I slap around the ice once a week. Let's look at it on the car. As a general overview of the puck, it sits just about here under the plastic engine cover. So to clean this puck, the first thing we need to do is remove this cover. Before I do that, let me explain to you what the hockey puck on the Audi does. The hockey puck plays a role in the PCV system by regulating the crankcase pressure back into the tip. The tip is the long rubber tube that feeds air to the turbo from the airbox. It also separates out the oil vapour somewhat and allows it to be burnt off. Some describe it as reducing or levelling the airflow pressure. Due to the nature of the puck and the oil vapour going through it, it tends to get gunked up full of goo and sludge over time. So taking it off and cleaning it out makes a lot of sense so it can perform at its optimum if blocked. It is supplied from the side of the crankcase via a pipe that comes into it horizontally and the pipe feeding back off to the tip comes out of the bottom of the puck vertically. To remove the hockey puck you will just need some simple hand tools, a Phillips screwdriver to remove the engine cover, a flat bladed screwdriver to open up the original Jubilee clips, some degreaser and a cloth to catch the old junk from the puck and a couple of new Jubilee clips that you can tighten with a screwdriver to make tightening and loosening easier in future. So remove the engine cover by removing the two screws at the front and put it to one side. You should now have a clear view of the hockey puck. Not that type of puck, but here's a side by side comparison to gauge the size. The pipe work is secured with two crimped Jubilee clips and we don't tend to have a crimping or removing tool lying around in the average toolbox so I put a flat bladed screwdriver in the crimped part and spread the clip apart. It should loosen the pipe enough so that you can wriggle the pipe of the puck connection. My crankcase pipe was quite loose already and I reckon I could have just pulled the pipe off without loosening but best not to take any chances of breakage. Remove the old Jubilee clip from the crankcase pipe as we will not be reusing that. With the crankcase pipe off you can now inspect the pipework for splits or cracks as well as the gunk build up inside the pipe. This one all looks good. Pull the puck upwards in the engine bay to expose the pipe that goes off to the turbo intake pipe or tip to access the Jubilee clip that holds the pipe to the puck. As I do I can feel the structural integrity of the pipe is failing. It feels like I can mould the pipe in my fingers so I guess age and the oil vapour over the years has deteriorated it. I will replace that pipe in another video. With the clip removed the pipe felt like it had welded itself onto the puck so I gently prized it away at the end of the pipe to loosen it enough to pull it off. But that is the puck detached from the pipe work and I have to say on first visual inspection it does not look too bad. I was expecting the connectors to be half full of old oil restricting the airflow. There is no sludge to speak of and very little oil residue. I was given a tip by Jules Matthews to clean the puck out with petrol which will act as a degreaser so thanks for that top tip Jules. I am also going to clean mine through with some spray degreaser so I can see the aerosol venting through the other connector as I spray it. Using a white microfiber cloth I can see anything that comes out of the puck when I pour it out. I did this a few times until the aerosol residue that came out was fairly pale in colour. So I let the degreaser evaporate fully and dry out and then set about reinstalling the puck. It's simply a reversal process but I'm using Jubilee clips I can tighten with the screwdriver to give future adjustment and pipe replacement options. Simple as that, job done. So hopefully that's a nice simple tutorial on how to remove the puck from the Audi, how to clean it and remove the gunk and get it working as good as new again. 
If you like what you've seen today, then please do give this video a thumbs up and also think about subscribing to my channel where you'll find a whole host of Audi TT content. If you would like to support the Andy Charger channel, then please do visit this video description and click on the GoFundMe link to find out more details. Everything contributed goes back into more great content. As always, thanks again for watching and see you soon. Take care.